Hello everyone. Welcome to ACES Wintergreen Interdistrict Magnet School. I'm Todd Soley, and I have the privilege today of not only being your, your children's principal, but also having you learn a little bit more about what we have to offer you and your family. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we bring you on a tour of our wonderful school. We here at ACES Wintergreen find that your children are special because we like them just the way they are. Let's see here. King Friday and Daniel Tiger. Maybe not today. Welcome to ACES Wintergreen Interdistrict Magnet School in North Haven, Connecticut. And although we may not be Mr. Rogers' neighborhood every day, Mr. Rogers' foundation was that everybody was perfect and complete, and he based his whole scenario on kindness. And I can say that we do that as well at Wintergreen Interdistrict Magnet School. I'm Ingrid Ellinger Doviak, and I'm our magnet coach. And this is a special presentation today because we are taking our tours to a technology-driven forum. That's right, it's a virtual tour and almost a virtual open house of sorts. And we welcome you to this as we reinvent what we normally do and take this virtually. So some of you may have already come on a tour with me here at Wintergreen um, regularly, but you're gonna get to see this through the lens of a photographer and photography and pictures to replicate what goes on here. You will hear my voice throughout as we go through the halls, meet some of the teachers and hear about some of our interactive programming. We have taken things to a different level lately. So we have full-time online due to the pandemic and we have full-time here in school. So we have sort of two things going on here at Wintergreen all fostered in the arts and all fostered in academics and all fostered in kindness. So come along with me, learn about our school and any questions will be directed at the end in a place that you can contact. Thanks so much. What I really love about our curriculum at Wintergreen is we follow the constructivist model. So that means we really focus on individualizing what the student needs and letting them explore. We have multiple partnerships with uh, local universities and organizations. We have uh, the most student teachers out of anywhere uh, in the state of Connecticut. The diversity at Wintergreen, um, I think it's a variety of different students, which really makes it really nice because there is that variety. You know what I mean? You have different cultures, different different kids, you know, it's, 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 it's awesome to be in a place where there's just not one group of people, but it's a mix of people. And I love that, students, I, I love that fact that they, we have that diversity. Welcome to the lower floor of Wintergreen Interdistrict Magnet School. And this area houses our grades K, one, and two. We do some really wonderfully innovative activities that have a lot to do with social emotional learning and the background always filters into arts enrichment. So the arts are integrated into every curricular area, including mathematics, social studies, science, and language arts. In kindergarten, each child ha has, we, we call it a one-to-one. -one. Each child has their own iPad assigned to them, which is nice because when they use that same device, it kind of remembers them, so they're not having a problem logging on. It remembers where they left off in a program. Grade level teams, we've had buddy classes, so the little kids have an opportunity to work with the older kids. The older kids love it because they feel like they're being mentors to the, ch to the littles. Um, and the little kids love it because some of those kids they've been on the bus with, they're like, oh, I know him and they want to be partners so it's really exciting and it's the, uh, for a lot of the kindergartners it's their first um, chance out of the home environment with a group of other with a group of other children so it's um, very much like their second family it becomes so it's really nice to create a community of, of learners together with them 
We also have things after school, a math night, science night, st STEM or STEAM, where parents are welcome to come with the whole family and bring other siblings that may not even attend Wintergreen. The lower floor has many of our arts essential classes, music, chorus, instrumental, the auditorium, arts and physical fitness and health all housed on the lower floor. So in terms of physical fitness, uh, wellness, and health, uh, we see the students quite often here at Wintergreen, which is fantastic. Uh, K through two, we're going to teach them a little bit about their bodies, how it works, how to move, um, lay the foundation for all the things they'll learn later on in grades uh, fifth through eighth. Um, what we're going to focus on is some classwork, um, health work in the classroom, and we'll be outside as well as inside doing a variety of locomotor, uh, body exploration, uh, flexibility training, strength training, and just general moving around, learning how to use their bodies properly. Okay, now let's travel upstairs. And up the stairs, you're gonna see the work of our graffiti students. They took this under their wings themselves and they created this. So it's art exploration at its best. And now we're gonna visit grades three, four, five, and six. And here we are welcoming you to the second floor of Wintergreen Interdistrict Magnet School that houses grades three, four, five, and six. They are energized through innovative lesson planning, all dealing with arts integration, as well as some really terrific lessons with math engagement, language arts, science, and social studies. Here, kids start to get the opportunity to switch classes, so they really enjoy that. In grade three, we do a lot of social emotional learning and we start the year with building communities and each unit builds upon the previous and teaches them different life skills. We start off with building communities. We move into speaking, listening, problem solving, that they can take the skills they learn through us and apply it to any facet of their own life. And what's nice about it is it also has an academic component where there's a read aloud and a writing piece also involved. We do a lot of um, circle activities in our classroom. Um, a circle can be anything from having discussions with each other about how we're feeling and how our day is going to playing a team building type of game with each other. Um, we've even gone on trips together to kind of build that, that team and that community, that sense of community. So for example, last year we took all of the kids fun. to the bowling alley. Do you remember that? That was so great. Best trip ever. It was the best trip ever. So we took the kids out to the bowling alley one afternoon and um, there was nobody there, just us and the kids. And uh, the people at the bowling alley were fantastic. They turned on all the lights for the kids and they just had the best time. And it was so good for our classroom to be able to do something together just as, as friends and as a community and apply all of our social skills to um, a social outing like that. Online, we totally took it to the next level by Zooming and playing games collaboratively with our third grade classes. Last year, we played Kahoot games where we took their favorite read aloud because of Winn-Dixie and created different questions. And the kids played an interactive online game with us and together simultaneously. Right. Yeah. And um, we had weekly circles, digital weekly circles, where we logged into Zoom and we did we um, we replicated a lot of the same conversations that we had in the classroom. We did those through Zoom. We had weekly fun Friday lunches where my class logged in at eleven thirty every Friday morning. We just ate our lunches together, talked about how it was going outside of school, even using that time to just acclimate ourselves with the technology, but in a fun way where we were also building the community with each other. It's all about keeping those connections, no matter where we are. Mm -hmm. In the middle grades, I teach mathematics. And, um, you know, mathematics is something that kids either love or they have some apprehension around. And my goal is to really boost those kids that are comfortable, but also bring along those kids that have the apprehension and, and for some reason have felt like they're not good in math. We all know that there's multiple ways to approach problems and whether they're math problems or problems in life. Um, so I definitely love to have students communicate with one another, not just with me, about how they're going about solving their problems because there's definitely always more than one pathway to doing that. One of the things that I love about working at Wintergreen is the ability to collaborate. 
with my colleagues in, in, in various disciplines. So for example, um, being the math teacher for sixth grade, you wouldn't think that I would have an opportunity to work with one of the theater teachers in casting a play. But recently I had that opportunity and it was fantastic to be able to see my students in a different light and to really see them shine in their arts discipline. And it was just a phenomenal experience. And now we're on the other side of the second floor. And that gets us to seventh and eighth grade classrooms coupled with the library. The other corridor of the second floor handles many of our arts classes, our art rooms, um, as well as our seventh and eighth grade classrooms. All of that feeds into our gigantic, beautiful, terrific library media center that is adorned each month to characterize something going on in terms of current events. I'm a photographer and video producer by trade. I have uh, 25 years experience uh, on the corporate side of the world in commercial photography and video production. Um, so when I had the opportunity to come here to teach 6th, 7th, and 8th graders um, things about photography and, and video, I was thrilled to do it. Um, I wish I had a program like this when I was a younger student, um, so I'm more than happy to have this opportunity to really share my real world experience with these kids. I'm one of the art essential enrichment teachers uh, I teach photography and video production um, and I collaborate with a lot of our other art teachers with my program. I usually start uh, the students doing things with simple lighting techniques uh, using simple light sources. We kind of graduate through the photography into portraits and then we start using video as a tool to tell stories and that's usually one of the goals I have with my classes is to tell a story simply utilizing photos, video, uh, music, dance, theater. Uh, we try to combine them all into how do you tell a simple story. So again, I'm Ingrid ellinger Doviak. I'm our magnet coach here at Wintergreen Interdistrict Magnet School. And the greatest thing is we are enrolling admissions. So please log on to www.aces.org, A-C-E-S dot O-R-G. You can go to the parent portal and you can fill out an application and we look forward to hearing from you. We accept applications from all areas and can't wait to have your child with us. Thanks so much. Thank you everyone for joining us for our virtual open house. We look forward to seeing everyone next time.